Hey everyone, so just welcome back to my videos. So this is a Halloween video as well, but this is more along the fall side, or looks that are more wearable. So how y'all liking my afro? Is it nice? Mm -hmm. So let's just get started. So this is one eye. And I'm about to duplicate that same that look on that side. So I'm going to Amelie from Melt Cosmetics. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush or a blending brush and I'm going to put that all over the highlight area. Then I'm going to use my finger and just make it more pigmented. Then I'm taking the denser side of the brush and I'm just going to pack that in right underneath my eyebrow. Then blend it in again. So I'm going in with Bang Bang from Mount Cosmetics. It's showing up more red than it really is, but it's orange. Now I'm just going to go in on that dense side of the brush, and I'm just going to blend it all in. So this is going to be a base for Mel Cosmetics Unseen the color that I just showed you and I'm just going to go in and pack it all over the base. It's going to bring out the true orange inside unseen. You know it is a brown color. But I don't know what my skin tone looks really nice with orange browns. So now I'm going in with e.l.f. Cosmetics Eyeliner and Shadow Stick and I'm using the shadow stick part. This is like this gorgeous gray color which is going to work great with the eyeshadow that we're going to use. So you're just going to pack that on all over the lid. Colourpop. Rummer has it feather and it's this gorgeous gorgeous color. It's like a gorgeous gray and it's great for smoky eyes because if you're afraid of having your crease being too dark this like doesn't really darken up the crease but it does it this beautiful effect. It's like a really beautiful shimmer but it does add a darkness there. I don't know it's hard to explain. You have to see it in purpose and really just understand how beautiful it is. Or just continue watching the video. So I just blended that out. Make sure it looks good. Each sign matches up. So then I'm going in with Dark Matter from the Dark Matter stack. I'm just going in with this brush, which I will have all the products listed on the blog at www.porschkadijbaby.com. So I'm going to put it in the inner corner and the outer corner, and that's it. Now, at also, like right above the crease, but not necessarily in the crease, or below the crease, rather. So now I'm going in with my Elf Cosmetics cons Professional Concealer Brush. And I'm just going in with that same that color from before that I showed you. And I'm just going to pack it in the lid. Make sure it goes with each side. Just blending, 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 blending. Again, make sure it matches. So then I'm going in with Master Graphic Eyeliner. It's like an eyeliner marker. And I love it. It's like by... I don't know, I've used it a couple of times. But this is the second video that I've used it in. Like, out of the series. Give yourself a wing. Try to match it up the other side as best as you can. Make sure each side matches. So then I'm going in with this black eyeliner. I'm just going to put it in the waterline. And I don't want to bring it in too far. I accidentally did because I thought I wanted it that way. But then I decided that I didn't. So I went and I fixed it. So then afterwards I'm just going to take that same that color from before. Which is that gray color. I'm just going to feather out the black eyeliner. Just blend it out a little bit. Give it a smoky eye. There you go. You can see that pop of orange like in the back of the brown. Wait a second. Just going in. I'm about to put on some lashes. Ooh, magic. So 
these are like my favorite Halloween lashes. Then I'm going out with some mascara. And the bottom lash line. The bottom lashes rather. So now for the lips. I'm gonna go with my favorite chapstick, which is Mango. Mmm, so good. I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. I can be here for like ever putting this on. So yeah, I had to lick like the inner corners because I just finished recovering from like those inner corners being like chapped and they actually like split open. So I just wanted to make sure those were extra moist so that didn't happen again because everybody knows that hurts. So then I went in and lined my lips with some brown eyeliner. I mean, yeah. And I just lined my lips. I don't really want to show y'all that part because, I mean, y'all know how to line your lips, right? So then I went in with Bang Bang and I just put that all over the outer corner of my lips. Or should I say the perimeter of my lips? how it looks so far. Now I'm going out with Tiger Eye, which is like one of my favorite lipsticks. This is from Estee Lauder. And I'm just putting that in the inner part of my lips. And all over the lips really, just to blend everything out. Don't forget the corners. And it makes it look like you have lip gloss on even though you don't. But it adds this like beautiful shimmer to it. And that makes sure that the orange isn't too, too pigmented. And it's very wearable. Smoky eye isn't too dark and your lips aren't too too bold. I think y'all can pull off this look, right? So if you want to use a highlight, you don't have to, but I just went with a melee. Just gorgeous color. And I just put that all over the places that I think I need a highlight. My cheeks, my chin, my nose, and just like a little dab on my forehead. That's it guys, so this is the final look. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my blog for all the products listed.